It's the NFL on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Detroit Lions and the New Orleans Saints. And it's all up next. Well, first open back in 1975. There's a look inside the iconic Superdome in downtown New Orleans. Today, December is upon us. We're into the home stretch, folks, and we got a good one for you here as it'll be the Detroit Lions taking on the New Orleans Saints. Brandon Gunn joined by Charles Davis here at the Superdome. But, Charles, these Saints, after a good run from 2017 to 2020, have kind of been middle of the pack the last couple of years, 7-10 a season ago. What's their recipe for turning things around? I think continuing the short passing game that they're known for and see if some of their playmakers can make some short passes into longer plays. And then on defense, continuing to pressure quarterbacks in the pocket. They tend to get after them pretty hard. But meanwhile, for the visiting Lions, they're going to be a pretty trendy sleeper pick. I feel obligated contractually to mention that they've only won one playoff game since 1957, and that number gets more and more impossible every year. But finally, Charles Davis, can they break the string in 2023? Break it, snap it, cut it, whatever you want to use. This Lions team, I fully expect to be in the playoffs in 2023. I like the way that they're being built. Get strapped in. It's just about time to get the party started. And we are underway from the Superdome. And he'll get it up just past the 20 as his guys will go to work at the 21-yard line. So here come the Saints to take over for the first time. And here's the new man under center after nine seasons as a Raider. Derek Carr is the guy. It's been fun to watch his development through the years. And right now what you see is a very confident quarterback who has a strong sense of self, totally understands the offense, and knows how to get the ball to his playmakers on the run. In his seventh season now, here's Alvin Kamara. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. They'll take that, 14 yards on play number one. Well, there you go, this offense off to a strong start this afternoon. Yeah, with a big run and a first down. That's putting what you practice into play. That's excellent execution to get things started. Staying on the ground on first with Kamara. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that gain. Here's a second and eight. Now Carr. And he couldn't get that one to his man. Short of him, it's low and incomplete. Well, that's a defensive coordinator's got to be happy with that result. They took away all options downfield and forced the incompletion. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves him staring up here at a third and eight. To throw his car. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Kirby Joseph, and he's able to get it back here to the 43-yard line. Offensively, a far from ideal start there with a pick on the opening drive. Yeah, not exactly what they were looking for. We know that. That's pretty obvious. The beauty, though, is it's happening early. If they don't panic, they don't compound this problem, they've got a long way to go and a chance to get back in it. Well, the Lions offense getting ready to go to work here and under center, a man whose career has been rejuvenated a bit as of late. And season number eight now out of Cal, it's Jared Goff. And at one point, the ascension of Jared Goff was really, really strong. Back-to-back -back Pro Bowls, took his team to the Super Bowl and came really within one quarter of winning it. But since that time, he's had bouts of inconsistency. And that's been the struggle for him as he tries to get back to the form he showed earlier in his career. Now the former Bear, this is David Montgomery. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. 
That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. He'll find Reynolds over the middle. Four yards the pick up, first down. Play action. It's gone. And that'll be caught. It's St. Brown. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. A good pick up there of 20 yards. And remember, this drive started off following the turnover. And they've taken no time working their way down the short field. A nice connection there. And now they're looking at a first and goal. There's gone. This one swung out to Montgomery. And he'll get this down inside the five to the four before he's out of bounds. Nice job defensively to hold him to four, and now it's second and goal. And just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially if the running back has skills like a receiver, and you're aware of that before the game. And in for the Lions, touchdown! Sam Laporta from four yards out. And the Lions use the early turnover to get on the board first here in this one. Well, that's just how they drew it up, CD. His first read was there, got it to him quickly, and into the end zone. Absolutely excellent execution by all involved. And the coordinator, got to give him credit, found the perfect play call. Quarterback let it fly as soon as the target came free, and his guy made a nice catch just how you draw it up in practice and then execute it in the game. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. Is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. From his end zone, here's Rashid Shahid. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. New Orleans Saints, they get ready to set up shop for their second drive. Now remember the last time out, they threw the interception. That led to the touchdown, so now time to regroup. It certainly is, and their goal right now as they go back out on the field, a calming drive, something that takes the ball, keeps it for a while, lets the defense relax a little bit, and lets the offense regain confidence in their game plan. They begin on the ground with Camaro. And he's upended at the 33, following a good pickup of eight. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play caller to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. Here's a second and two now from the 33. They run it again with Kamara. And a 42-yard line here and block down there. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. But well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. And I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. So after the run by Kamara, now another first and ten. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground. But I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. On second down, Camara, and he's going to be hemmed in and brought down right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. 
And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Throwing his car on third down. And that's going to be knocked away and incomplete. And with it, time has expired on the first quarter. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Ready for the second quarter from New Orleans. It's the Saints in possession as they've got it with a fourth down coming up. Here's Lou Headley on now to punt the football. Back deep, Khalif Raymond. Taking it about the 16. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt, and the Lions will take over. Jared Goff and the Lion offense heading out. He was 4-4 on that opening drive, including the touchdown pass, as he'll try again here to duplicate that success, starting with a first down. to Montgomery to begin the drive. And not much there. Maybe a yard up to the 24. Well, partner, I don't think it's any secret that any running back wants to be able to see a hole open so that he can gallop through it. But in this case, he had to slow down. There was really no hole there. And he took a big hit in order to get that one yard. Now second and nine. Now gone. That's into the hands of Reynolds. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender. And that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Back to throw, golf. Complete to right. So the completion good for seven there, and it's second down. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on, catching the ball and not much run after the catch. From the 43, it's second and three. Goff now to throw. That's into the hands of Donovan Peoples-Jones. His first catch, good for eight and a first down. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. So in Saints territory now, here's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. They'll go with a rookie from Alabama. It's Jameer Gibbs. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. What a luxury to have a guy like this who can not only spell your starter, but can come in and keep drives going. Here now, second and four. Here's Goff. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively, and now it brings up third down. Well, he certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. Golf. And that's hauled in by St. Brown over the middle. And he is going to have a Lions first down. They needed four. He doubled that. He wound up getting eight. Golf to St. Brown for the Detroit first down. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. Now Goff on first down. That's complete to the Porter. And they're able to get this one past the 30 down to the 25. 
The Lions passing game in sync now. They've got another first down. He's certainly done a nice job spreading the field on this drive, and here he finds his big tight end for good yardage, and that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. Now a first down throw. Gone. Throwing quickly there, but it's incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. To the air again. Golf. And that's going to be caught by Peoples-Jones. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints' 13-yard line. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. From the red zone now, golf. And a quick throw here, that's complete. So five yards here, five on the play. And that's going to bring up second down. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. From the nine, second and five. Now gone. Down. Sam Laporta, a beast in the red zone with his second touchdown of the game. And the Lions will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Another impressive drive. So they're two for two, two touchdowns. Charles, a great start to this ball game for them. And one of the words that's really worked its way into our lexicon is stacking. They've stacked momentum each time out, not only on offense. Between those touchdowns, Defense held, forced a punt to get the ball back, and they've played awfully well in this one. Both sides playing at optimum level. Extra point by Patterson, up and good. And that'll make the score 14 to zip. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. The Saints offense going to head out now late in this first half. They're certainly in need of some kind of points here before the end of the half. A field goal or something being shut out right now. They could really use some momentum before they head into halftime. now on first down. Slant pass complete to Alave. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. Second down and six now. To throw, it's Carr. On the check down, he finds Kamara. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two, as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Car. That'll be taken in by Shahid. Touchdown, New Orleans. A big play there. 63 yards. And the 
Saints get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. The way this one was going, you just got the sense they needed something before half. They've at least got something on the board now. Still trailing, but a good sign. That takes me back to our preseason tour of NFL camps. You remember we, we talked with that one coach who said his emphasis this year was scoring in the last two minutes yep. of a half, headed into the locker room. This hits it right there. Take that momentum, take that good feeling, and take it to the locker room, regroup, and start over. They got it here. They did indeed. A lot of football, full half to be played. the touchdown. Here's Groupie to kick this one away. And this taken in at the goal line. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. And the Lions going to go back on offense one final time in this first half. And with a 14-7 lead, they might just be happy to take this thing on into the tunnel. at 20 seconds to go in the half as they come up first and 10. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. And he's not going to go anywhere as they get him down behind the line of scrimmage. Yikes, a four-yard loss really sets him back now for second down. So we have reached halftime with the visiting Lions taking the lead to the break. As we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. Okay, Brandon, back to you guys in just a moment. But welcome everyone to our Creative Village Studios in the EA Sports Halftime Report. This has certainly been a fun one to watch so far. We knew this was going to be a battle, and we have not been disappointed. This is the kind of game that could wind up hinging on which side could play mistake-free football the rest of the way. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. touchdown ball game 14-7 our scores as we get back at it on EA Sports and makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23 yard line the Lions offense now with a football first here to begin quarter number three and Charles they've got the lead put your coaching hat on here now what's the game plan for the second half I think getting the running game going a little bit more because I thought in the first half they didn't get it moving the way that they would like. They had success throwing it, but I think these first couple of drives, they'll want to get those running backs going and give them more opportunities, and I will guarantee you that those guys are lobbying for them in the locker room at halftime. Taken down by Pete Werner. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. A shotgun snap for Goff. That's complete to Peoples-Jones. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. On first down, it's gone. 
And the Saints pressure gets him. Brought down for a sack. That one will set him back nearly 10 yards here on first down of the sack. Well, remember, they had the nice gain on the previous play, but they just gave a lot of it back right there on that sack. Yeah, they get the sack, get back some real estate. Felt like the type of play that can spark a defense and swing some momentum. Almost felt like a take that type of a play, didn't it, partner? Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. A good pick up there, 26 yards. And time to give some credit to the big fellows, the offensive line here, because you've got to have good protection on crossing routes because you've got to give your receiver time to work all the way across the field. That time, able to scan the field, spot his receiver moving left to right and make a good, accurate throw. Thank you, guys. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. And that's what this defense is going to need to do more in the second half. Good pressure that time, forces some indecision in the backfield. He's going to wind up being taken down for a nice loss. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive here, second and 11. From the gun, here's Goff. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Montgomery. So nothing doing there. And that'll bring up a third and 11 situation. They tried to swing it out left into the flat, but the defense, they were very principled there. It felt very West Coast offense, didn't it? You know, you know their expression, right? On a West Coast offense, when they throw the ball, it's either going to be a touchdown or a check down, meaning they like to press it downfield. If they don't have it, swing it out, which is exactly what we saw there. But how about the great pursuit and tackle to make a nice play? Work in the middle of the field. He's got a man complete. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 21. A good pick up there, a 22. With the kind of game he's had so far, you had to know that on third down, that they would be looking his way, and they did for big yardage and a first down. I think the defense fell asleep at the switch on that one. I would have doubled him, tripled him, anything to keep the ball out of his hands. On first and ten, golf. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. They had their backs up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Glad to be in the great city of New Orleans, rolling along here in the third quarter, second and ten. Now Montgomery running right. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. To say they've kept him under wraps running the football, that, that's an understatement. He's been completely neutralized. Yeah, they've essentially taken him out of the game, haven't they? And you know all the teams say, we're not going to let him beat us. Well, that's exactly what's happened here. They've lived up to that. They'll set up the screen to Montgomery. And he is not going to get to the marker as they stop him short at the 14. That'll bring up fourth down. They wind up getting eight yards, but they needed more than that. And that's a play that's not uncommon on third and long because the offense is just hoping that somehow they can get a guy in space and follow some blockers downfield. Does a pretty nice job there getting a few yards, but he ends up getting stopped before he can get the first down. Patterson's kick is good. And they will move up by 10 now, 17-7. to seven. Well, they picked up right where they left off in the first half. First drive after the break, they come away with three and increase that lead. Yeah, and you just want to keep building on that lead, don't you? Whether it's six points or three points, take everything you can get, keep maneuvering, keep adding to it, keep making it difficult for them to come back. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. On the return, here's Rashid Shaheed. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. Now the attention turns to the Saints offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. And their deficit a little wider now than it was at halftime following the field goal a moment ago. But the goal is still the same because you know they want to come out, establish a rhythm in the second half, and get going. Make no mistake about it, though. Kicking field goals, not in their game plan. They need to get the ball in the end zone. 
Carr going to lead the Saints up here first and 10 at their own 18. He'll start with a give to Kamara, and he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown, so a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now, hopefully get to the perimeter later, and let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. On second down, here's Carr. Finding Taysom Hill complete. He's going to be out of bounds on what's going to wind up being the final play of quarter number three. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here live in New Orleans. It's the Saints who hold the football, but they're trailing as we begin the fourth quarter of play. Here comes third in the length of the football. Carr going to throw. And that one goes incomplete on the drop. That's one he definitely normally catches. Fourth down. Well, how about the coverage we just saw him break out on third down? Dime defense. Blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed. Unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. They'll send a tight end in motion right. They run. It's Williams. And he picks up the first before he's taken down at the 29. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. He needed less than a foot. He didn't get a whole lot more than that, but he did get the first down. Well, he and his offensive line created enough push where if he was able to just fall forward as he was able to there, that would pick up the first down. As you noted, didn't need a whole lot, didn't get much more than that. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Give it big credit for his coverage right there because when he saw the route break deep, he stayed in position to prevent a completion while avoiding any risk of a flag. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and ten. They're going to look to throw. He completes it to Alave. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. Now Carr. And his throw here is incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent, and that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. Here's second and ten. Now Carr. He gets it complete to A.T. Perry. And it's going to be another first down as they'll get him to the ground at the Lions 40. 12 yards there as they move the chains. But correct me if I'm wrong, yeah, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. The car's throw complete there to Perry. And he's taken down inside the 30. Another connection between the two. This one good for 12 and a first down. Well, every drive from here out is definitely crucial and critical. They know that they need to get at least three here to get it back to a one-score game. But I can't imagine that in their huddle that they're thinking at all about getting a field goal. They want to get into the end zone and then try and get the ball back again. He'll find Shahid out to the right. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. A well-executed 22-yard game. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores, want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Carr now to throw. And he's got it. 
And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. Nice job defensively to hold him to four, and now it's second and goal. All defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Here's Carr to throw. Out of the backfield, that's complete to Kamara. Great footwork there, Charles, to dot the eyes, stay in bounds, get both feet in. He's probably thinking, though, man, I made a catch like that that close to the end zone. I should have scored. Yeah, there's always a regret when you're that close to the goal line. But let's go back to what you talked about before, getting his feet down. Would you say dotting the eye? Mm -hmm. I can cross the T as well. <laughs> that was excellent footwork to get in bounds and make a great catch. And he takes it across and into the end zone. Touchdown, Saints. Alvin Kamara taking it in from two yards out. And the Saints have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Groupie for the extra point. And this is up and good to make it a 17-14 game. So that one, a 13-play drive in total. And the capper came from Alvin Kamara on the touchdown run. After the touchdown, here's Groupie to kick this one away. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. And Detroit getting set to go now. And with that last touchdown, I mean, we're set up for a good finish here. Some things to consider, Charles. Obviously, it's a very close game here in the fourth quarter. Defensively, they've got all three timeouts in their back pocket. So the chess match really ramps up, doesn't it? Because in these situations, what do you do? Do you run the ball and kill the clock here? Or do you try and bury them with another score? And how about defensively? Do you use your timeouts to earliest opportunity? Or wait till you hit the two-minute warning? So there's a lot going into this one. Let's see how each side goes about their strategy. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. So the Lions in possession of the football as we welcome you back. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. This is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Now it's gone. He's got his target. That's complete. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. They'll go to Montgomery to try to wind some clock. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Now the Saints will use their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Again, they'll go Brown with Montgomery. And he will have a Lions first down, and that's the one that should seal a victory. 
I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who, who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around the training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying <laughs> it around campus, right? Maybe the old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. with a kneel down here and that should put a conclusion to this one yeah it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd but when you go on the road that band of brothers attitude right just us against the world and get it done <laughs> how happy are they i remember a coach at a previous stop telling me you get a win on the road doesn't matter the opponent get out of there like you stole something and they, <laughs> they did in this one What a finish in this one, Charles. You know, this group, they come in, they have to fight a hostile atmosphere every snap. They get the late score, they get the victory, and that flight home, it's going to be a little sweeter after this one. And Brandon, just like you, I was fired up for that last sequence. How about that? Wouldn't you have loved to have been in the huddle when they were mounting that game-winning drive? Big-time moment. No one shied away from it. They tuned out the crowd, kept their heads, and executed the way they needed to to earn that win. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com.